Here in Tokyo sits the headquarters of Japanese massive conglomerate SoftBank. It started as a software distributor, grew into a telecom giant, and now spans many different industries, pouring billions of dollars into the likes of Alibaba, Uber, and WeWork. Its founder and CEO meets with Donald Trump and forms business deals with Saudi Arabia's royal family. And yet, it's a company you may know little about. SoftBank is ranked number 38 on Forbes' list of world's biggest public companies. That's a few slots higher than General Motors and IBM, and far ahead of Amazon, Coca-Cola, and Walt Disney. Its business dealings really know no limits. They include telecommunications, e-commerce, finance, technology services, semiconductor design, media and marketing, a baseball team, and even a robot. This is Pepper. It's a humanoid robot manufactured by SoftBank, designed with the ability to read human emotions and even analyze voice tones. So who is behind it all? Founder and CEO Masayoshi Sun. He was born in a small town in Japan and moved to California at the age of 16. He graduated from UC Berkeley with a BA in economics in 1980. Sun is known for his fierce business strategies and they seem to pay off. After meeting with then-president-elect Donald Trump in 2016, it was announced that Sun would invest $20 billion in the U.S. tech sector. After the announcement in the Trump Tower lobby, SoftBank's stock surged more than 6%, making Sun instantly $2 billion richer. Sun is now Japan's richest man. Yet a big part of SoftBank's success and size may actually have less to do with Japan and more to do with China. In 2000, SoftBank made its most successful investment, putting $20 million into Alibaba. 14 years later, that investment turned into an estimated $60 billion payday when the Chinese e-commerce giant went public. That's almost a 300,000% gain in 14 years. With returns like that, it's no wonder SoftBank's become an investing powerhouse. Last year, SoftBank invested in more than half of the top 10 biggest investments in VC-backed startups. That included ride-hailing giants Didi Chusing, Grab, and Ola, as well as Flipkart, the Indian e-commerce giant. And those investments are coming whether companies want them or not. When Didi Chusing and Uber said they didn't need SoftBank's money, Sun threatened to invest in their rivals instead. Needless to say, the companies took the cash. Then there's the acquisitions. In 2016, SoftBank purchased European semiconductor firm Arm Holdings for $31 billion, the biggest purchase of a European tech company ever. Google owner Alphabet also sold its robotics firm Boston Dynamics to SoftBank in 2017 for an undisclosed amount. Much of SoftBank's recent investments are part of what's known as the Vision Fund. It's the largest technology investment fund in history. While the $100 billion fund is primarily backed by SoftBank, it also includes massive investments from Apple, Qualcomm, Sharp, and the sovereign wealth funds of Saudi Arabia and the UAE. The fund has also invested billions of dollars into about 30 companies, including Uber, Arm, NVIDIA, and WeWork. It recently announced a $200 billion power generation project in Saudi Arabia, which would be the world's biggest solar project. And it isn't stopping there. The fund wants to become the largest shareholder in 100 tech companies around the world once it's done investing its money, creating the biggest ecosystem of tech companies in the world. Hey guys, it's Upton. Thanks for watching. For more of our videos, check out what is Alibaba here and who is competing with Uber here. We're also taking suggestions for future CNBC Explains, so leave your comments in the section below. And while you're at it, subscribe to our channel.